One in every two men over 40 experiences some form of sexual performance concern at some point in life. For some, it shows up as difficulty maintaining firmness. For others, it feels like a drop in energy, slower recovery, or a sense that their body is not responding the way it used to. And most men carry these worries quietly. They do not bring them up with their doctor. They do not mention them to their partner. They try to figure it out on their own while scrolling through late night advice videos, hoping for clarity, but often finding only confusion. But the truth is this, your body is not failing you. It is speaking to you. Changes in circulation, shifts in nitric oxide levels, alterations in blood vessel elasticity, variations in testosterone production, even subtle inflammation in the prostate or pelvic floor tension. These are signals, not verdicts. And when we understand what those signals mean, we can support the body, strengthen it, and often restore the very functions you thought were slipping away for good. Today, I want to help you step out of the noise and back into the science. Because there is a lot of misinformation circulating online about home remedies for circulation and performance, especially around baking soda. Some claim it boosts nitric oxide. Some use it for alkalinity. Others mix it with random ingredients without understanding how it interacts with the digestive system, the kidneys, or the vascular network. So in this session, we are going to break this down the same way I would with a patient sitting across from me in the clinic. We are going to look at what the research actually shows about sodium bicarbonate, how it affects blood flow, what it can and cannot do for performance, and most importantly, why combining it with a specific natural powder has become an evidence up supported strategy for men over 50 and 60 who want healthier endothelial function, better circulation, and more consistent performance. Think of it like this. Your vascular system is a network of flexible highways. Blood flow is the traffic. Nitric oxide is the traffic signal that opens the lanes and testosterone is the fuel that helps the system respond efficiently. When any one of those elements is disrupted, flexibility of the vessel wall, nitric oxide release or hormonal signaling, the entire system slows down. What we are discussing today is a simple, accessible way to support all three of these pathways safely and effectively. So if you have ever felt uncertain, defeated or overwhelmed by mixed advice online, this session is meant to bring you back into clarity. You deserve information that is grounded, not sensationalized. You deserve tools that are evidence-based, not speculative. And you deserve to understand how to care for your body in a way that feels calm, empowering, and within your control. Let us begin by clearing up one of the most persistent misunderstandings circulating online. Many men have heard that baking soda can boost performance, neutralize acidity, or increase energy. But here is what the research shows. Baking soda or sodium bicarbonate is not a circulation enhancer. It does not relax blood vessels. It does does not raise nitric oxide levels, it does not directly influence erectile function. When taken by itself, its effects are limited almost entirely to buffering acids in the stomach and bloodstream. Inside your body, sodium bicarbonate acts like a chemical sponge. It neutralizes hydrogen ions, which is why athletes sometimes use it to reduce lactic acid during intense exercise. But the doses used in those studies are high and often cause stomach cramping, diarrhea, and bloating. In fact, research published in the International Journal of Sport Nutrition found that nearly half of participants experienced significant gastrointestinal discomfort when using sodium bicarbonate alone. And for men over 50, any increase in sodium load can place extra stress on the kidneys or raise blood pressure if used repeatedly. So why do people still talk about it as if it is a miracle solution for performance? Mostly because the real science has been misinterpreted. Baking soda does have one useful property. It temporarily increases the pH of the stomach and intestines. But here is the key point. By doing this, it changes how certain nutrients are absorbed. When used alone, this does not support circulation, but when paired with the correct nutrient, it enhances the body's ability to convert that nutrient into nitric oxide. And nitric oxide is the central molecule responsible for firm, sustained blood flow. Let us break this down the same way I would explain it to a patient. 
Nitric oxide acts like a gentle signal that tells the smooth muscles in your blood vessels to relax. When they relax, the vessel widens. When the vessel widens, blood flow improves. That is the exact pathway medications like sildenafil support. But your body naturally produces nitric oxide from two main sources. One pathway uses the amino acid arginine. The other uses dietary nitrates and the nitrate pathway becomes more important with age because the arginine pathway weakens. Now here is where baking soda becomes relevant. Studies from the National Institutes of Health show that nitrate conversion relies heavily on the environment of the stomach and the oral microbiome. When acidity shifts, the body converts nitrates into nitrites more efficiently, but the process works only when nitrates are present. Without that second ingredient, baking soda does nothing for vascular health. Think of it like trying to start a fire with no fuel. You can create the spark, but without wood, nothing catches. Baking soda is the spark. The nutrient we will discuss soon is the wood. Without the combination, the system stays inactive. This is something I see constantly in practice. Men come in frustrated because they have tried something they saw online, used it incorrectly, and now feel even more discouraged. And I remind them of this. Your body responds to chemistry. When you understand the chemistry, you can support your physiology safely and effectively. When we talk about performance, stamina, or the ability to achieve firmness reliably, the real foundation is vascular health. At its core, male sexual response is a blood flow event. It depends on how flexible the blood vessels are, how efficiently the inner lining of those vessels responds to signals, and how well the body produces nitric oxide. And this is where many men run into challenges as they enter their 40 seconds, 50 seconds, and beyond. Inside every blood vessel is a thin, delicate layer called the endothelium. Think of it as a living sensor that reacts to pressure, nutrients, oxygen, and even stress hormones. When the endothelium is healthy, it behaves like a responsive valve. It opens easily when the body signals for increased blood flow. But when it becomes inflamed, stiff, or coated with oxidative stress, that valve becomes sluggish. It does not open fully. It does not stay open long enough, and this is one of the earliest and most common reasons firmness declines with age. Research from Harvard and the Mayo Clinic consistently shows that endothelial dysfunction is one of the strongest predictors of erectile difficulty. In fact, several urology studies describe erectile challenges challenges as an early warning sign of vascular aging. Not because something is wrong with masculinity, but because the blood vessels supplying that region are extremely sensitive. They show changes long before larger arteries do. Let us break this down the same way I would explain it to a patient sitting in my office. Imagine your blood vessels as flexible garden hoses. When they are new, they bend easily, expand quickly, and deliver strong pressure. Over time, with normal aging, repeated exposure to stress, shifts in hormones, inactivity, poor sleep, or elevated blood sugar, those hoses stiffen. They do not expand the way they used to. And nitric oxide, the molecule that tells them to relax and widen, becomes less available. Nitric oxide is truly the master regulator here. It is produced inside your endothelial cells and acts within seconds. The challenge is that men over 35 naturally produce less of it each decade. Studies from the National Institutes of Health show a clear pattern. As men age, enzymes responsible for nitric oxide production decline. The lining of the blood vessels becomes less responsive and oxidative stress increases. This is why men often describe the experience as needing more stimulation to achieve the same result or having difficulty maintaining firmness once they get there. This brings us back to why baking soda alone is not effective. It does not support nitric oxide. It does not nourish the endothelium. It does not improve vessel elasticity. But the right nutrient when paired with baking soda activates the nitrate to nitrite to nitric oxide pathway that becomes essential as you age. You can think of this pathway as a backup generator that takes over when the primary system weakens. Here is something I remind men all 
all the time. Erectile changes are not a failure of desire. They are not a reflection of masculinity. They are simply physiology responding to age, environment, and lifestyle. And the good news is, this endothelial function is highly responsive to support. It can improve, it can strengthen, it can recover. Before we move forward, if this resonates, consider leaving a comment. Many men feel alone in these experiences, but the truth is this. It is common and it is treatable. Now that we have a foundation, let us talk about the nutrient that transforms baking soda from an ineffective remedy into a genuinely supportive combination for vascular health. The powder is beetroot powder, more specifically concentrated dietary nitrates derived from beetroot. Here's what the research shows. Beetroot is one of the richest natural sources of inorganic nitrates. When you consume those nitrates, they enter your bloodstream and interact with the bacteria in your mouth. Those bacteria convert nitrates into nitrites. When nitrites reach the stomach, they encounter an acidic environment that transforms them into nitric oxide. That nitric oxide then travels through the bloodstream and supports blood vessel relaxation, oxygenation, and overall vascular performance. This is where baking soda becomes relevant. On its own, it does not create nitric oxide. But when combined with beetroot powder, it shifts the stomach environment in a way that improves the conversion rate of nitrites into usable nitric oxide. Not by raising nitric oxide levels artificially, but by enhancing a process the body already relies on, especially as men age, and the traditional arginine pathway becomes less efficient. A study published in the journal Nitric Oxide demonstrated that dietary nitrate intake significantly increases plasma nitric oxide levels, improves oxygen delivery, and enhances endothelial function. Another study from the University of Exit observed that participants who consumed beetroot experienced better blood flow to working muscles and improved exercise efficiency. Although these studies focused on physical performance, the underlying mechanism is the same one responsible for firmness, stamina, and vascular strength. Let us make this more relatable. Think of beetroot nitrates as the raw material needed to build nitric oxide. Think of the oral bacteria as the factory workers that prepare the material. And think of the combination of stomach acidity and baking soda as the environment that allows the final product to form correctly. Without the raw material, the process halts. Without the factory workers, the material is useless. Without the right environment, the final product is never formed at the level you need. This is something I see frequently in men over 50. They are trying supplements focused solely on testosterone or single ingredients meant to boost circulation, but they are ignoring the nitric oxide pathway entirely. And for men in their 40 seconds, 50 seconds, and 60 seconds, the nitrate pathway becomes one of the most reliable ways to support vascular health because it bypasses some of the age-related limitations of the arginine system. When beetroot powder is taken with a small amount of baking soda, two things happen. First, nitrate conversion improves. Second, stomach discomfort that sometimes occurs with beetroot alone is reduced. This synergy is why many clinical nutritionists recommend pairing them, not for quick fixes, but for steady, supportive vascular enhancement. This combination also influences how much oxygen reaches your tissues. Better oxygen delivery means more energy, better stamina, and a stronger vascular response when the body signals for increased blood flow. Here is a practical tip I often give patients. Avoid using antibacterial mouthwash around the time you take beetroot nitrates. Research from the National Institutes of Health shows that antibacterial mouthwash can reduce nitric oxide production by eliminating the very bacteria needed for nitrate conversion. With that foundation, we will move next into how this combination supports testosterone signaling, morning performance, and hormonal rhythm. Now, let us look at another essential layer of male vitality, hormonal rhythm. Circulation and nitric oxide are only part of the story. Testosterone signaling, stress hormone balance, and the natural rise in hormones that supports morning performance all interact with vascular health. And this is where the combination of beetroot powder and baking soda offers benefits far 
far beyond improving blood flow. Testosterone is not simply a hormone of desire. It influences energy, confidence, sleep quality, mood, and even how responsive your blood vessels are to nitric oxide. When testosterone is stable, the endothelial lining of the vessels responds quickly. 